హలో ఎవ్రీ వన్ రమ్య ఏపీ ఆఫ్ సిఎస్సి డిపార్ట్మెంట్ ఫ్రమ్ రోహిణి కాలేజ్ ఆఫ్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ అండ్ టెక్నాలజీ సబ్జెక్ట్ కోడ్ ఓఎండి ఫైవ్ ఫైవ్ వన్ యూనిట్ త్రీ టాపిక్ బ్యాండ్ పాస్ ఫిల్టరింగ్ అబ్జెక్టివ్ టు లర్న్ అబౌట్ ద కాన్సెప్ట్స్ ఆఫ్ బ్యాండ్ పాస్ ఫిల్టరింగ్ ఫిల్టర్ ఇన్ సిగ్నల్ ప్రాసెసింగ్ ఎ ఫిల్టర్ ఇస్ ఎ డివైస్ ఆర్ ప్రాసెస్ దట్ రిమూవ్ సమ్ అన్వాంటెడ్ కాంపనెంట్స్ ఆర్ ఫ్యూచర్స్ ఫ్రమ్ యర్ సిగ్నల్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఎ క్లాస్ ఆఫ్ సిగ్నల్ ప్రాసెసింగ్ ద డిఫైనింగ్ ఫ్యూచర్ ఆఫ్ ఫిల్టర్స్ బీయింగ్ ద కంప్లీట్ ఆర్ పార్షియల్ సప్రెషన్ ఆఫ్ సమ్ ఆస్పెక్ట్ ఆఫ్ ద సిగ్నల్ హియర్ ఇట్ ఈస్ మోస్ట్లీ రిమూవింగ్ సమ్ ఫ్రీక్వెన్సీస్ ఆర్ ఫ్రీక్వెన్సీ ప్యాన్స్ హవ్ అవర్ ఫిల్టర్స్ డూ నాట్ ఎక్స్క్లూజివ్లీ యాక్ట్ ఇన్ ద ఫ్రీక్వెన్సీ డొమైన్ ఎక్స్పెషలీ ఇన్ ద ఫీల్డ్ ఆఫ్ ఇమేజ్ ప్రాసెస్ here correlations can be removed for certain frequency components and not for others without having to act in the frequency here the filters are widely used in electronics and telecommunication in radio television audio recording radar control system music synthesis image processing and computer graphics next we are going to see the types of filters here the filters are essential building blocks in some systems particularly in communication and instrumentation systems here it contains three t- categories first one is passive or lc filters that means it work well at high frequencies however at low frequencies the required inductors are largest bulky and non idm furthermore inductors are difficult to fabricate in monolithic form and are incompatible with many modern assembly systems next one is active rsc filters it is used to utilize operational amplifiers together with resistors and capacitors and also it should be fabricated using discrete thick film and thin film technologies and the last one is switch capacitor filters it is also used for the monolithic filters which typically offer the best performance in the term of cast here the fabricated using capacitors switched and operational amplifier next we are going to see the low pass filter it is used in circuits that only allow low frequencies to pass through it is also often used to block high frequencies and ac current in a circuit here the below figure it shows a sample lpf circuit using the operational amplifier here the frequency output of a low pass filter is popular with the f- speakers to block high pitches some electric guitars and radio transmitters and also it contains the process of a low pass filter next we are going to see the high pass filter in a high pass filter it is used in circuits that only require high frequencies to operate it also blocks most low frequencies and dc component and the next one is band pass filter it is an electronic device or circuit that allows signals between two specific frequencies to pass here also we have some discriminate against signals at other frequencies at the time some band pass filters require an external source of power and also it employ active components such as transistors and also the integrator circuits here it is used as a combination of high pass and a low pass filter it also only a select range of frequencies to pass through it here also it is with a designated way that the cut off frequency of the low pass filter is higher than the cut off frequency of the high pass filter here also the band pass filter are used primarily in wireless transmitters and receivers here the main function of a such a filter in a transmitter it is used to limit the bandwidth of the output signal to the minimum necessary to convey data at the desired speed and in the desired form next we are going to see the frequency response of a band pass filter it shows the aka board plot curve for a second order passive band pass filter is shown in the figure here we have the request frequency is equal to root of f minus low into f minus high that means the graph is plotted against the input frequency in the x axis and the output is decibels in the y axis so when the input frequency is less than the lower cut off frequency then the output remains less than minus 3 db so it exceeds that frequency then the output reaches the maximum and it stays there until the frequency exceeds the higher cut off frequency then only the peak at which the output gain stays maximum is called as the res- 
resonant frequency it is also simply the geometric mean of the upper high cut off frequency and the lower cut off frequency here it is used to calculate the same value as given here the distance between the lower and the higher cut off frequency is called as a bandwidth so that the input frequency will be allowed to pass only through it is within limit of the bandwidth thank you